Hi, I'm Abby, and I'm a second year forensic science student here at USW, and behind me is the crime scene house. I'm going to show you around today. So this is our crime scene car. We've got um, multiple bodies that we can use. We've got this one in the boot here. Right in this car, we do glass recovery, fibre recovery, and fingerprint recovery, just like we would in the house. Because the outside of the crime scene is just as important as the inside. Inside the crime scene house now, and the first room I'm going to show you is the living room. Um, in here, we do things like burglaries, homicides, fingerprint recovery, glass recovery. So here we have one of our models. So here we can see that she's got a bloody nose and a black eye, as well as a laceration on her chest, and some um, fight back marks on her hands. So in the house we've got five different crime scenes and our fire investigation scene. In each of these rooms we have models to go in the rooms like you've just seen. Each of them has a different injury. So in here is our crime scene kit. It has everything you'll need in a crime scene. So for example we have the CGA label. One of these needs to be attached to every single piece of evidence that you recover from the house. We have some knife tubes for anything that's sharp. So in here, this one we've got a scalpel. There are bigger ones we have for knives and also for needles as well. So this is our bedsit room. Again in here we've got another body. She's got a bullet wound to her left temple. In here we have various pieces of marked out evidence. So we have a fingerprint here at number one. So evidence number two is a footprint cast in sand. This is so the second years and the first years find it easier to lift the footprint and take photos of it. So in here we've got a student room. Here we have one of our more unique dolls where she's been bound on both the ankles and the wrists. Now I'll take you down to the fire investigation room. The room is completely burnt out, and in there we have a mannequin as well. This will be used mostly by our forensic investigation students, but everyone will get a chance to go in there at some point. The crime scene house is always open on applicant days and open days, so if you want to come and have a look around yourself, feel free to come down to one of our events, and I hope to see you there soon.